You might be wondering what happened. You know, you said you're gonna put out all these videos and then you just didn't. Turns out I chipped my front tooth in half. <laughs> so I used that time instead of taking pictures of myself to take pictures of other people and learn photography. It's been really fun. I feel like learning photography and especially the terms behind it really helps with Blender. So I'll probably make a video on how that relates pretty soon. But you guys clicked on this video for the asset browser. It's very exciting, I know. So grab a notebook, some paper, a pen. Let's get started. So the Asset Browser is an extremely powerful tool in Blender, allowing you to take anything and then just drop it into your Blender scene that you've already created. If you don't understand, just think of it this way. Imagine thinking of something in your head and then seeing an open space and then just plopping that thing you see in your head onto that open space. It's kind of like a Sims video game where you get to rearrange furniture, except it's Blender so you can do anything with it. Now imagine if you could do that in real life. That'd be pretty cool, huh? So let's get into how to find the Asset Browser. So if you don't already have the Asset Browser in Blender, you can simply navigate to the Blender Downloads page with your favorite browser and then from there click on download scroll down to experimental builds and then if you click on blender 3.0 it's in the alpha right now you should be able to get the asset browser from there download install yada 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 you know the deal until you have a new blender version opened up from there you can go to the top left corner and split the screen so you can have a better view of the asset browser and congratulations you just asset <laughs> you just asset and congratulations you just access the asset browser right now this is kind of useless though and you need to set it up so if you're like me you'll already have a folder full of assets that you've created before the asset browser even existed just so you could take it from one scene and then drop it into another so you don't have to keep remaking the same object over and over and over. If you have a type of folder, that's great. If you don't, that's okay. Now's your chance to create one. So in your file explorer, you can just create a new folder, call it Blender Assets or Assets, depends on where you want to put it. And then from there, you can put all of your assets into that folder. Keep in mind, these don't have to be specifically your assets. They can be assets from the internet, such as OBJs. If you don't know how to download assets and put them in your Blender file online, well, uh, <laughs> we have a uh, video on that in this corner right up here or, or here. I always get confused on which side it so is. So make sure you click that card in the corner to learn how to import OBJs. Or don't. That's that's okay. No one's judging. So you've downloaded the new version of Blender, opened up the asset browser, and made a new Blend file with your asset in it. Great! You might be wondering how to put this in your asset browser. So it's very, very simple. You can just name the item something that you will recognize in the asset browser, something related to the item, not just spamming your keyboard, although I know that's fun. And then from there, to put it inside the asset browser so it will always be accessible, right click, go to ID data, and then mark asset. From there, you should now be able to go to the asset browser and that's right, that's right, okay, okay, hold on. Blender, why do you have to make things so hard? And on top of that, I've been doing half of this video and the framing's been off, there we go. So if you go to another blend file and you try to find that asset that you just imported into the asset browser and it's not showing up, we have a problem that is very easily fixable. Basically, Blender doesn't know where to find your assets and it's probably assuming it's in the wrong folder. So to fix this, we can go to Edit, Preferences, go all the way down to File Paths, and then change the path to wherever you plan to store your assets, aka that asset folder that we created earlier in the video. Now, under the Asset Browser settings, you can finally switch your asset browser from Current File to where we save the objects and they will appear ready for us to place in any scene. And all that's left is for you to drag and drop in your scene and you have officially used the Asset Browser for the first time in Blender. Congratulations, you did it. As always, I want to put out this video fast, but this is an alpha build of the Asset Browser. I'm sure there are a bunch more features. However, it is always subject to change in the future. So if it does change, just like the OBJ video, we will upload a new video talking about those changes and how to fix them or adapt to them. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to respond to them. To respond to them. <laughs> you know, it seems like the world is slowly starting to get back to normal in this time and uh, we have you to thank for that. See, I can't wait to see where we're going to be in a couple of months. Things are starting to open up. People are starting to feel healthy, feeling really good about it. So thank you so much for watching the video. As always, I have been a member of the Blender Dojo. Keep training and uh, hope you have a good day. Stay safe out there.